everyone, I am Janvi Pavar. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you guys are new over here, then welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, as an assistant professor of English, as an online trainer of English and languages and accents, and at the same time being an IELTS trainer, I have to deal with many PDFs, with reading comprehensions, listening comprehensions, and many notes, many word files. I have to edit them in the best way possible so that I can share them to my students. And at the same time, I need uh, a tool that not only helps me with my uh, editing skills and PDFs and all, but also helps my student in improving their English. So here I have this tool called Wondershare PDF Element, which is available on Mac, iOS, Android, and your Windows. All you have to do is click on the link in the description box below. You can edit your PDF files however you like, and at the same time, it will help you in improving your English with its many features. So let me take you guys through it. Let's go. All right, so to get into Wondershare PDF Element, you're going to go on your Google and type out Wondershare PDF Element. And after coming up here, this is what you're going to come across. Wondershare PDF Element, let's click over here. And this is Smart PDF Solution Simplified by AI. So you're going to give it a free download. And after downloading it for free, yes, it is free, you are going to so you are going to give it a free download and after downloading it for free, this, this is what you're going to come across. So as you can see, I've already edited some files and you know, my, all of my recent files are over here. So all of your recent files are going to come over here. So over here, you can edit your PDF, convert your PDF, OCR your PDF, summarize your PDF, which is the best part and batch your PDFs. But right now I need to edit a PDF. So let's click over here and select a file. So the thing is, this PDF, it already comes in boxes. So one page, one box, another page, second box, third page, third box, so that it's easy for you to edit it. So over here, you can not only add a text, add an image, add link, add a watermark, background, header and footer, or page numbers and more. So as you can see, this PDF, it already seems pretty fine. But now the thing is, if I need to send it to my students just to help with their English language learning journey, so there needs to be something special special. Now, obviously, if you guys need to highlight something, for example, let me show you, this is a ninth century. So if I need to underline this, as this is important, so the properties are going to come and we're going to underline it. There we go. Or if we need to strike something out, for example, links has become this. So we're going to strike it out. Why? Because it's not important for us. So you can simply highlight anything. If you find something important, you can strike anything out. If you do not find that important, or you can add a text. Now, adding a text is not only about editing one word. It's actually about editing anywhere. You know, if you can add a text over here, you can add a text over here or over here, wherever you want. Now, obviously, it's not only about adding a text or adding an image or adding a watermark and background. The best part is if you are learning a language, for example, Spanish, or if you need to summarize something, or if you need to check your grammar, so everything is over here. So let's click here, which is AI chat. Now, as you can see, this PDF is pretty big, you know, and sometimes we just need to get a gist of a huge passage. So right now I just need to summarize this whole thing so I can share it to my students so that they can uh, get an idea of what the whole PDF is, PDF is about. So I'm going to click over here, which is, can you summarize the content of PDF? First, let's save it. And here we go. As you can see, this is super big, but this is super small. So this is an overview of the whole PDF, what it talks about, and you can ask even more questions. You know, not just summarizing, but anything about the PDF, anything about the content, which is the best part. Like if you're preparing for an exam, you know? So if you're preparing for an exam, you need to summarize something. You need to ask more questions so that everything can get cleared up. And you can simply go over here and check it out. Now, at the same time, for example, if you're learning English or any other language so you can translate anything from one language to another all you have to do is click over here where you can detect your language and convert it into a different language translate it for example I need to translate this passage in a different 
language. So I selected Spanish and here are the passages in Spanish. Now, if you're learning English and if you have written something in Hindi or in any other language, then you can translate it into English and you can check it out how much is correct, how you're supposed to translate, you know, what kind of rules are going to be there, send structures, idioms and more phrases. So which is the best part? But this is not the least. There is another thing. So you know how I always say that you guys need to write in order to, you know, make your English more good, in order to improve your English, and you need to write and write. And then you guys are always like, but how are we supposed to check our grammar? You can check your grammar over here. So obviously, I need a PDF and everyone needs a PDF where their grammar is perfect up to the mark. So I'm pretty sure there are some grammar mistakes over here. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to copy this and we're going to paste it over here. So let's check our grammar. And here we go. So as you can see, there are many changes and here are the reasons for changes. So the first one is huge should be changed to large scale. All right, I think that sounds much better. Making rivers to freely flow should be corrected to enabling rivers to flow, flow freely. All right, that's two. The killers will turn as life bringers should be changed to the killers will transform into life bringers. I mean, obviously, there needs to be some changes and you get it over here. So if you're practicing your writing, your language, so you can simply check your grammar over here. Now, to share it to my students, I need to convert this whole file into Word. So I'm going to convert it PDF to Word. Let's do this. And here we go. This is what you're going to come across after converting it. Now, obviously, you can again edit it according to your needs and your types, but this is perfect. Like, not only do you get to edit, at the same time, you also get to improve your language. So this is it for this video. Make sure to go check out this free tool, Wondershare PDF Element, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So this is it for Wondershare PDF Element. The link is in the description box below. Go and check it out. And as for me, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye everyone. Stay safe.